Hi, this is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. Today, I wanted to ask you a question. If you really think that you know yourself, that's the question. Do you really think you know yourself? For an example, a person can find himself dealing with certain situations in life and those situations makes him doubt himself, feel so uncomfortable with himself. He's criticizing himself and hating himself, blaming himself on his actions. Now the question is, do you know that your self-blaming is connected to reality, to the truth? Do you know that really you are that one to blame on your mistakes, on your downs, on your failures? For an example, a person can feel bad with himself about a certain event and he will look at himself, will judge himself and will feel that he did something wrong because he will put his focus on that moment of free choice, the moment that he was standing in while choosing and taking that decision that he took, that you took, and feel bad about yourself. Why? Because you are aware to a certain weakness, certain fear, certain pressure that you were affected by. And you are aware to yourself that you were doubting yourself and thinking, considering if to make that mistake or if to be strong and not to fail. And you chose wrong. At least that is what that you feel about yourself or what that you think that the Torah is saying that was wrong or what that other people consider as wrong. Now the question is, if you really know who you are, who you were in that situation. Because it's true that in that situation you were thinking and considering if to go right or to go left, if to make that step or not to, and you chose in a certain way. But the question is, how do you know that really you had the free choice in your hand in that moment. For an example, a person can find himself that he is asking himself if to do it or not to do it, but still in the fact of the moment, in the situation that he is trapped in, there is really no other chance that he will take a different decision than the one that he took. If you are poor and someone is offering you a huge amount of money, or if your child is in a certain risk, or if your future is in a certain risk, or if you have trauma from your past, you have your patterns that are based on very harsh life experiences that you experienced as a child or 
even a few years ago, things that brought you to be so scared and terrified today. Now, to test you in a certain test sometimes is not a fair test. Sometimes your answer and your decision is obvious. But I'm asking you, do you know about yourself that you really had the free choice in that moment? Maybe your fears were too strong for you to handle and then there was no test and there was no free choice. Maybe in that moment your anger, the level of pressure that was put on your mind, on your heart, on your back was too hard for you to handle and maybe because of that pressure even though that you were considering and you were thinking and you were trapped in that intersection, still you didn't have the complete ability to choose. Now, if you had that ability to choose, so I understand why you're blaming yourself, okay? But if you don't know for sure that you had the ability to choose, so give yourself a break because you still don't know who you are. Now, I want to help you to know who you are. I want to give you some guiding lines that will give you tools and knowledge that will help you to climb out of the maze that you're trapped in. And I will offer you a certain path to walk in that can take you very fast to a very deep level of self-awareness and deep understanding of the mission of your life. So many of us are afraid of the unknown, many of us are afraid from darkness, but I suggest you now to close your eyes and to connect yourself to your inner quiet. Even though that for a certain while, a certain time, you can feel embarrassed, you can feel a certain feeling that is not so comfortable, lack of self-confidence and low self-esteem makes you question and doubt yourself always. But if you will try to breathe and to relax and to connect yourself to the truth of who you are in your mind, in your thoughts, I think that you will find a spring of comfort, an inner space for relaxation, a deep source for inner peace and a huge and wide channel for ancient wisdom. I suggest for you to just close your eyes and to breathe. To breathe deep to fill yourself with the endless love of the Creator. Ignore the outside world that is surrounding you. Set your mind into the depths of your soul. Inside of you There is an endless sea of good, of kindness. As a soul that is free from all kinds of constrictions, of limitations, 
you are now free from physicality completely. So in that term and in that way you can experience things in a different way than the way that you used to experience them when your eyes are open. Keep yourself connected to your breathing. Bring in pure air. into your inside and let that air shine and illuminate and heal you from within. From this honest place, every person can ask himself, Who am I? I had my thought when asked myself that question. I'm sure every one of you had your thought. Listen to it. Don't argue with it. Just keep on breathing. Be aware to your thoughts. Be aware to the answers that you're receiving from above. Ask yourself again. Who am I? Now I receive the same answer again. You might receive the different answer that might complete the picture or sometimes you can also hear negative thoughts. Sometimes the thoughts that are coming to us doesn't have to be the most purest one of them all. They can be also negative thoughts that wants us to give up and to fall again into that trap of low self-esteem and criticism. So ignore all kinds of negativity and just keep on climbing to the heights of your soul. Ask yourself, am I happy to be the one I am? What do I really want to do with my life? What do I really want to do with my life? You can ask yourself every question when you're holding in that simple place of deep understanding of the fact that you are a spiritual being. Being well connected to the creator of the universe, well connected to your inner connection to infinity through your spiritual soul being aware to your thoughts that are being used as speakers to put the will of the Creator into words, into a language that will make sense in the mind of your physical creation. That's why for the Creator it's not a problem to use your language the world of your concepts and your vocabulary, your slang. Because the language that runs inside your mind is a keyboard for the Creator to use to transfer His holy message to His beloved ones, to those souls that have been sent to a very important mission to remind themselves of their own godliness under the kingship 
of darkness in the physical world that is called the world of lie. And in that world of lie, we are the most brave and strongest troopers, soldiers, warriors that are fighting with all our power to uncover our true potential, the light of the Creator that has been treasured inside of us in the first days of creation. He sent the souls that He believed that will keep His word in the most brave, honorable, powerful and beautiful way of them all. He's counting on us to complete our mission and to become one with Him again, to remove the curtains, to take away all the obstacles, the husks and the walls of separation, to ignore them, not to give them no strength and no power, not to believe in their existence at all, and just to go through them like you go through air, like you swim through water, like you walk when you are a free creation with no limitations, and no boundaries at all. You are a free soul, a godly soul, a divine particle of godliness itself, a holy and pure messenger of the Almighty. And it's in His power to heal you completely and to send His healing through you to all of His beloved ones, if it will be through your prayers or through holy thoughts, through your learnings and your holy desires, also your actions in your physical vehicle that is called your body can be used for the Creator to make spiritual changes in His creation. Now, as a holy messenger of the Creator Himself, now you have the opportunity to pray. Pray. Open your mouth and express your most holiest, highest desires, dreams and hopes, yearnings that you wish that will come true. Speak in your own language. Count on the Creator and tell Him your heart. Express your thoughts and your emotions. Your dreams will come true. And you can be sure of it. The Creator, He loves you. The fact that He puts words in your mouth hopes in your heart is an evident for the fact that He wants to answer your prayers and to bring that goodness that you dream of. Speak to infinity, to the one that is above, in the most honest and simple way that you can. Speak to Him like you speak to your best friend. Ignore all negative thoughts, all doubts, all noises, all sounds. Connect yourself to Him from within.
those prayers that you pray are the prayers that the Creator wants to answer as soon as possible. The prayers are vessels to contain the bounty. The light of infinity is a simple light that comes down like beautiful rain and shines upon the world, filling all kinds of vessels, healing all particles of creation and delivers a secret potion that reconnect us to our spiritual source. If you put vessels in certain shape, the simple bright light of the Creator will catch the shape of that vessel. If you will pray on a different thing, by that you will put a vessel in a different shape that will contain the light of the Creator in a different shape and will deliver different news, different wonders and different miracles to the world based on the shape of the vessels that you put by choosing certain words in your prayer. Pray more. Pray for things you want to achieve and for things that you want to bring to your beloved ones. Pray on our Amuna project. Pray on all the righteous ones that are distributing the light of the Creator in the world and realize that by praying for them, you are one of them. Like the verse is saying, tell me who you are, tell me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are. If you're praying for righteous people, you're one of them. If the love to the truth and to the Bible, to the righteous ones and to the holy ones, to the innocent ones, is the love that shines inside your heart, it means that you are part of us. It means that you are part of the light, that you are part of that emuna light that spreads in the world, that is taking over the darkness, that is overpowering and fighting, crushing and destroying all kinds of darkness, sorrow, pain, negativity, sadness, depression, illnesses and weaknesses, all kinds of impurity we are destroying with the light of love of our simple faith in the One, in the One that is loving us with no end, that is caring about us with no amounts above all nature, an endless source of loving kindness, the Creator of Himself, and we are one with Him. Pray some more. Say to Hashem what you want to achieve, what you want that will take place in your life, in the world, for Him, for the wide world, for all creations, pray in your own language. The light of the Creator is filling your vessels, our vessels, answering our prayers. And if you're still doubting, and if you still don't know, and not so sure that your prayers will be answered, I'll give you a hint why is it coming. It's coming because the thing that you hope to achieve is a huge thing, is a gigantic salvation, a salary or a house 
to find your soulmate, having children, being healed from all kinds of illnesses is not a simple thing. And especially for those ones that were asking for complete redemption, for faith to spread in the world, for salvation to come to the wide world, to all nations, things that we are asking are not simple thing. Because by achieving one of those things through prayer, we will find ourselves getting stronger in our faith. Now the evil inclination knows that thing. And that's why he's fighting against us to stop us from praying. Because when we will pray and be answered, it will give us more strength and power, more confidence and knowledge that prayer works, that the Creator, He loves us. And with that enormous power that will renew in our physical bodies, we will run to the fields to pray and scream to the Creator on daily basis on all of our desires and holy will. Now, if we will be those masters of prayer to go on daily basis and to ask for all our needs, the redemption will come with no time. So every step in that way is bringing us forward to the completion of our mission. And that's why you have those doubts that your prayers might not be answered. Only because that there is an evil inclination that wants you to doubt yourself and not to count on infinity on the loving kindness of the Creator Himself, but you know better. And you have the power of free choice to choose on your own and to fight against all negativity, all kinds and aspects of sadness and despair. Focus in the light of faith that shines from within. Ignore all kinds of fear all kinds of sorrow, pain and frustration from the past. Live in the present. Live the now, this moment, that you are one with the Creator Himself. And just breathe. Ignore all kinds of thoughts that are surrounding you and trying to cut that wonderful wonderful thread that is attaching you to the Creator Himself. Bring yourself in over and over into that channel that is connecting you to the root of your soul. Come back to your true self, to who you are, to who Hashem made you to be to that one that the Creator's light is shining through him to all of his surroundings, to remind everyone of his existence and his endless love to us. You are now holding in a very, very high spiritual level None of you can ignore the feeling that you feel. This is a simple level to those ones that believes in Hashem. If you will work on that, to set yourself free every day for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, putting yourself in a quiet place like that place that you're sitting in right now and focusing your mind in that kind of meditation, simple hit bodadut and conversation with the Creator, expressing your thoughts and your holy desires with your eyes closed that only Hashem is in your mind, aware only to your deepest feelings, senses, and emotions, to your thoughts, to your simple faith, 
If you'll find the power to do that on a daily basis, the angels will envious, will be jealous at your spiritual level. You will reach the highest, highest levels a human being can reach. You'll find yourself flying in the air above all levels of physicality. You won't have no limits and no boundaries. You will find the solution and the answer to every question. You'll find the salvation to every difficulty and problem you have in your life. If you will just be sincere and honest to talk to the Creator like we just did right now. If you're finding it hard to do it on your own, you should practice. Listen to this video over and over until you get used to do that thing on your own. And it's not a problem. It's a simple thing that every person in the wide world is able to do if he wants to. The Creator is telling us that we should connect ourselves to Him with all your thoughts, with all your heart, with all your power. Your inner potential is enormous, is so great, is so divine, is endless. There are no measurements to the amounts of spiritual bounty. Spiritual bounty from the world that is above us from the divine and godly world. Prophets saw the Creator because He revealed Himself to them. Elijah the prophet is promising us, made an oath on that topic, your own self-esteem, that corresponding to the intention of your heart while doing the best that you can, the Divine Spirit will hover above, upon, and within you to connect you to the ancient archives of the earliest days of before creation, to answer all your questions, to deliver a message and a sign to all of your surroundings that the Creator is with them, is with us. Now we should remind ourselves that we are still in a physical body, that we have our fingers, that we have our hands, that we have our heads, that we have our clothings, that we are part of this creation. And now we can open our eyes and to come back to our physical reality, shaped into bodies, divided into figures, under the limitations of physicality, but with an open door and an inner access to the endless, infinite world of above. Every person in this world is connected to the Creator. The Creator is the one that is able to change the creation corresponding to His will. And He will keep your will when you will want to commit yourself to Him. And His will that you will nullify yourself to Him is not selfish in no way, is only because that He is willing to hand you the biggest thing of them all, and it is His godliness itself. He wants to connect you to the truth, to reality, that there is no one else except of Him. That's why you need to think about Him when you're walking, when you're drinking, when you're sleeping, when you're working, when you're chatting, 
when you're reading, when you're praying, because He is the only reality there is. He is your soul and He is all of His coverings that are covering His inner layers, the most gentle and spiritual layers. But, Melokol Haaretz Kevodo, the world is full with coverings that are showing His respect, that are teaching us that we should respect Him. And that respect is dressing itself in figures and in bodies, in trees, in animals, in houses, in vehicles, in clouds, in the weather, in thoughts, in emotions. And all the particles of creations are telling us, come back to me and I will come back to you. When we will come back to Him completely, He will come back to us. His godliness will be open to all. Everyone that will pray will see wonders. Everyone that will desire some good thing will have that thing served to Him on a silver plate. On the spot, those are the days of redemption. And it depends in our tshuva in us dedicating our lives to come back to the truth, not to be religious, not to follow commandments and words of other people, to follow our inner faith that is connecting us to the divine will of above. And if you find yourself that your heart desire learning, keeping Torah and mitzvot, running after Hashem in your religion way, religious way, do that with all your heart. But if you find yourself that you are in early stages and you feel that for now you need to breathe and you need to relax and you need to work on your eating habits, on your sleeping habits, and you need to heal your spirit, your body, your soul, it's time to listen to your inner voice and to connect yourself from your own level, from the real place that you're holding right now. And after connecting yourself through reality, listening to the voice of truth that is talking to you through your logic, through your common sense, through your deep understandings about your nature, and your power, your abilities, your fears, and the pressure that is on you. If you will listen in your level and will connect yourself to the truth in that level, you'll find the power and the stability to make another step and to climb to the next stage, to the next level, with no end to that letter. Jacob letter to climb on it from the ground to the heights to a place that even the holiest angels cannot climb to that place and we have that inner access to that place and inner access through it bodedut and holy pure meditation based on your holy desire to connect yourself to your real creation in the secret of who that the Creator made you to be. And you can become that angel that you are in your potential. And the treasures, gifts and presents, wonderful surprises that the Creator hide for you in your path are so wonderful, magnificent, that no one else can describe and can enjoy from. They're waiting for you, based on the endless love of the Creator to you, the love of a parent to his only child. He loves us, an unconditional love, love with no limits. 
love that is above physicality and he is taking us and delivering us to eternal life of happiness and satisfaction and he wants us to deliver this light not only in the spiritual world that we will be vessels to share His light when we will get rid of our physical body. Just the Creator wants that day to take place today under the limitations of nature. That all nations will believe in Him. That all people will know His name and will go to Holy Land, to the Holy City, to the Holy Mountain, will get into the holiest place in the world and bow to Him and will call Him in His name. And the house of prayer will be the house of prayer to all nations that everyone will know how to call Him in His name. And His name is the name of love, is the name of true kindness, the name of truth, the name of good, the name of all kinds of good attributes, all good manners and behaviors, all godliness that is hidden and treasured in this world is His name. His name is filling the creation, is the lifeline and the source of happiness and joy, health and holy wealth of the wide world. <coughs> And you have an inner access to that ancient treasure inside of you. And no one out there can give you the key. You must open your own heart and follow it into your inside to find your truth. People around you that are scared that you will walk away from their truth, never found their truth. They're basing their thoughts on other people's assumption. And because that they never made their inner investigation of what the real truth is, they want to force you to their fear, to be prisoner with them in their same prison. And they're afraid to stay there alone under the pressure of their own fears. So they're trying to take you in with them to their dark place. But if all people would just believe that there really is only one truth, they wouldn't be scared that you will go and search for it. Because they would be so confident and sure that you will find it, the same one that they found. Because they found it and they realized that it's available for all. But it's because that they never found it and they're just claiming to hold it. That's why they're terrified to let you go. Because you're about to find it. And when you will, you won't stay with them in the same prison. My advice to you is to take and dedicate a holy part of your day to meditate and to pray to the Creator in your own language exactly like we did today to open your heart and to express your thoughts and your holy desires to speak about those things that are so painful and hurt and to ask for compassion to ask for forgiveness to ask for salvations and answers to your deepest fears. The Creator, He can heal you. He can save you. He can provide everything you need. He doesn't have no limitations. He is above this world, divine and holy, and His intentions are pure. The only thing that is separating us from Him is the distractions of our thoughts. Is when we are following the negative thoughts, the sad and depressed thoughts that penetrate into our mind, 
by foreign people, by outsiders, by people that are surrounding us and told us certain things that are contradicting the inner truth of our true creation, of who we really are. And if you will dedicate time every day to focus on the light of your creation, you will find your inner truth and you won't have no more doubts and no more questions. And you will become a real Baal Tshuva. A real Baal Tshuva is a person that owns an answer. He has the answer to all questions. He knows the answer. The knows. He knows. And you can connect yourself to your inner truth, to go into the gates of your own tshuva and to come back to the Creator in your way. And then you'll feel happy and glad, satisfied. You will feel the pleasant of Hashem. Just by fulfilling your obligation, running after commandments, trying to do what people tell you, you cannot find inner happiness. You can justify yourself to other people, but you cannot justify yourself to your own eyes. If you really want to heal yourself from within, you need to dive into the depths of your creation and to find the diamonds, the gold, and the pearls that the Creator treasured inside of you. And when you'll find them, you'll find your glory and your beauty, the nature of your creation, the essence and purpose of your life. And then you'll find true comfort and true happiness. I bless you that all your prayers and requests will be answered immediately and that you won't lack a thing ever again. Amen. Can you hear that song? Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.